Hey, what is up? Well, since I was checking some communication on the uh, Jade, wondered what else I had I can hook up here on the test bench. Here is a main baseboard. I didn't remember what it was from, so I had to look at the version number and look up that software code, and it came out to like an old 30 <laughs> GTN chiller. So I just hooked up some potentiometers for thermistors. That way, that's why it's reading actual entering and leaving water temperature. This here is one of those scrolling marquees that I did a repair to. And you will notice that the buttons work like butter because there's tactile buttons in there. Not that original shit. <laughs> that always wears out. So, almost kind of thinking of doing a side business of fixing these things. Which, uh, it would be for a lot less than what a new one is, and also uh, it would work better. <laughs> I heard that some new ones are supposed to be coming out with the tactile buttons, but I have not seen one in the flesh yet. So anyway, I just have my oscilloscope hooked up over here to the communication wires. And I took, there's a one second sample right here. So we're way zoomed out for one second, but just kind of zoom in so you can kind of see what kind of data you get over time there and as soon as you get close enough it'll start spitting out the hex code that I have it translating to a lot of spaces so I'm zooming in too much go to the next one If somebody had a lot of time, maybe they could crack the code. <laughs> I don't know if they'd get in trouble for doing it, but it would be nice if there was an alternative basic function service tool, just at least a plug in so you could read and clear alarms. It's like right now this has an alarm. Yeah, I think I put all the buttons in there. We go. Alarms. Current. There's going to be a bunch of those. T158. A lot of people do not realize this, but if you push them, it's going to give the date and time. And the description of what's not giving me the date and time, probably because it's not in here. Failure. <laughs> oh, that one was not familiar with that one. So we go history. How is that the only alarm in here? Huh. Well, there's an A151. And you go, what's that? Oh, there's the date and time. 0109. <laughs> At 30, 30, 1231 in the morning. Illegal configuration. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. This thing's probably all full of corruption. And down here is like all the saturation. Saturated condenser temps. I could put like 10K resistors on there just to keep that happy. It's the discrete digital inputs, and you can always look at the schematic for that. So, um, here's communication, which is the uh, red, the white, and the black. And I just made this up real quick from some spare parts. Got that plug there, that plug there. From hooking up VFDs and whatnot to this, almost got some of that memorized where it is. <laughs> so, uh, this is also a local. Uh, equipment network connection right here. I could take these three wires right here and just move them right here and it would communicate. Although the same plug has my 24 volts that feeds that, so you lose that. So I might hook a VFD up to this at some point. Kind of look at the, the information on it. It's going to be similar because it's on the same data bus. So it's just going to look like that. So it is it. Let me, it's a 38 4 baud. And the funny thing was, when I first fired it up, I was like, what is the baud rate, you know? So I was moving this, these things, you know, to the smallest pulses. Kind of like this, you know? Oops. Sometimes this, these buttons are a little touchy. And right there. So 38, well, 38.4 will be right there. 
Oh, look, looking at it wrong. 38.4 will be. So looking at the differential. 38.4. Almost. Yeah, right there. So 38.4. So, you know, if you look at this, it's right on there. So that's the smallest pulse, which is usually, you know, going to be your pretty much a clock speed. Usually be about like that. So 38.4. And then so just in the decode thing here. Um, what was it at? Signal? Nope. I'm still getting used to this thing right here, baud rate. So 38.4. And as soon as I did that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that is what it is. Can you program VFDs and whatnot to communicate to the uh, LEN bus here? You program them for baud rate of 38.4. So that's pretty cool. Just thought I'd take a look at what the data is. Anyway, keep that video short. That. Could like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you guys later.